What's up guys? So super busy at the shop, but I wanted to do a quick tools in action. That snap on TPMS4, I know I said I've been wanting to do it. You know, I used it maybe five or six times just to get the gist of it. You know, because when I do the tools in action, you know, I want to make sure that I'm showing you guys how to use it properly. But it's been a pretty great tool. It gets the job done. Um, I got this 2007 Subaru Forester, uh, replaced the TPMS sensor on the right front. So I just want to take you guys through the relearn procedure, kind of what to do on at least the Subarus. Uh, I got the tool here. So doing this one, you'll need obviously a scanner and then the tool, but pretty much turn the tool on. And then I'll show you guys here. We got the Subaru, the light is on. I think it flashes maybe even, or stays on solid. So we did replace the sensor. But basically what I do, I got the scanner plugged in, that's all programmed in there the Subaru is in the the Varus and then go to the tool here put all the info in what do we got try to do this through the camera screen Subaru Forester 10 12. so 2012 mm -hmm. so it's a 2012 guys not a not a seven did I say so no I don't think so okay yeah 2000 12 all right and then basically i got this all prepped ready to go and then you go to the scanner and i'll go to tire pressure monitor menu this is the new 18.4 update i actually like it so I'll continue and it pretty much steps you through what to do here we're going to go to tpms sensor id registration and then it's basically you just do all the tires in a row TPMS sensor re requires a snap-on TPMS tool or equivalent, so you can use Alltel or anything like that. Go to next, and you could do these manually or automatically with because I'm using both snap-on product here. So continue, and then we'll show you. There should be sh four of them should show up. Mm -hmm. And they start off. Get the tool. Basically. Here, show the show the this both screens. So basically, just hold it up to the tire, and then it says incomplete. You'll feel a buzz, an audible buzz, and then it'll say complete. And then you can see complete on the scanner there. That's one. And then switch it over to the right front. Do the next one. Pull it down by the sensor, hit the transmitter button. Both of them beep. I actually feel a vibration in the tool and it beeps and then the, the scanner also beeps. Go to the next one. Oops. Done, complete. So basically, I think after these, you're pretty much waking them up, programming the, the numbers in them, registering each sensor. So I'll complete TPMS sensor ID registration successful. To complete, yeah, I'll have to drive it. Turn the ignition on for 10 seconds. Drive, drive the vehicle 20 miles, 25 miles an hour or fast for at least 10 minutes. It, it doesn't even take that long. You go a few blocks, guys, the lights finally goes off. But that's how to use these tools. Pretty straightforward, easy stuff. I'll roll back when I get back on a test drive. I'll show you that the light's off. All right, guys, so just got back on the test drive. Started up. TPMS lights off. Didn't even do, I maybe, what, 30 miles an hour for a block or so. Light goes off right away. 
pretty simple stuff. It's been a pretty great tool. I set it up on the Vera so you guys kind of get a size comparison of this thing. I mean, it's, it's pretty tiny. This thing only measures about, what, six and a half inches there? Six and a half inches, nine, if the wife's around. And then what, four inches? They say that's average, right? But no, it's pretty small, pocket size. This thing's pretty great, man. It's, uh, haven't gave me issues yet. Boot up time's a little slow. Uh, I, I, I've probably only charged it one full charge, and I think the battery indicator was still half there. So, been a pretty great tool though. But yeah, this was the sensor we did. You can see it's pretty much brand new. Actually doing this one for a body shop down the street. But yeah guys, if you guys haven't seen that uh, Snap-on TPMS tool, check that one out. I mean, it's a little, uh, price tag's a little hefty, but, you know, if you guys are doing these sensors, you know, it's not like I do a ton of them, but the ones that I was doing, I was running into, I was tired of having issues with a couple of the other ones, you know, the Altel, even though it was another great one, but they don't give you information. You know, the Varus tells you exactly what to do across all these car manufacturers, pretty much just plug it in, go through this process, and as long as all everything's working on the car, Boom, done, you know? So, but just figure I'd give you guys a quick one right now. Tools in action on the TPMS4, working alongside the Snap-on Varus uh, Edge. Like, comment, subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one. Signing out.